Hey everybody, Beauty Holly coming at you today with a hair video. Yes, a hair video. I had promised a couple of videos back that I was going to do a tutorial slash review on a new, well not a new product, new to me, but not new on the market, um, that I had just used. I've used the product twice and I am loving the product. Um, I did use it this past time and well two weeks ago this is two week old hair here and um, yeah I'm, I had her up in a ponytail so that's why it's all gelled and everything I took her down so that you can kind of see what she looks like now this is two weeks hair and uh, yeah I'm gonna go ahead and redo my hair it's, it's my week to redo my hair so I had promised and I also had a couple of subbies come to me or comment that they wanted me to do a um, tutorial slash review on the product. So the product that I'm talking about is Aunt Jackie's um, Curls and Coils product. This is what I'm talking about here. This particular product here is a defining curl custard. And I've, I think I've... No, I have not showed this. I did a video, previously did a video, and I didn't like it, so I didn't post it. So, yeah. Okay, this one right here. Um, okay, let's go back to this. This is a defining curl custard called Ooh, Curl La La. Um, this right here is Quench, and this is a moisture intense leave-in conditioner. And... This is um, in control moisturizing and softening conditioner. And this is the Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. That's what this is here. And I am not going to use this particular one. This is also clean moisturizing and softening shampoo. Now I've used this once. The um, the products that I just showed you, besides this one, um, the shampoo I used before, and I used a different co-wash with it, and uh, the product still did wonderful in my hair. So I decided to get the shampoo and try this because all the products are. Um, Sulfate free, free, paraben free, no mineral oil, no petroleum, uh, petrolatum, pet, petrolatum. Um, it's free of all that. And so um, I decided to try the shampoo because of that. Well, I didn't like the way the shampoo made my hair feel. Um, <coughs> it made my hair feel um, matted. It's the best way I can explain it. Um, it was easy to manage afterwards, but while it was wet, it was just real. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it made my hair feel. So I'm not going to use this today. Um, what I'm going to use instead is the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser. It's what I'm going to use for my uh, to cleanse my hair. So, um, I'm excited to show you this product. Um, you kind of already see what my curls look like with using this product. The last couple of videos I've done, my hair was, I had done my hair with this product. It made my hair curls uh, defined. They were, um, I mean, you can still kind of see some of the definition of my curls. I mean, it was just, I mean, I loved it. And so I'm thinking, you can still kind of see some of my, the definition of the curls. So I'm thinking this time when I use it, I'm going to do a flexi rod style instead of doing the natural, the uh, wash and go. And, you know, it's going to be Mother's Day on set on Sunday. Today is Friday. And I wanted to do something different. So, 
Um, yeah, I'm going to do the flexi rods because you kind of already see what my hair looks like. But we're going to see how it reacts with the flexi rods. So, with that all being said, um, this is going to be it as far as me talking. I'm going to come back and just kind of fast forward through what my hair looks like after it's shampoo, what it looks like after it's conditioned, what it looks like after I put all the products and everything in. So, I'm just going to fast forward through all that stuff and kind of tell you what each segment is so this video can be faster. I don't want a long video for y'all. And then probably I'll come back tomorrow with the finished product because I'm thinking I'm going to go to sleep with the curls in my hair. Um, either I get under the dryer or I may let it air dry, get under the dryer. I don't know. But I think I'm going to sleep overnight with the rollers in my hair. That's going to be, ooh. So, yeah, you'll see the finished product tomorrow. So, that's enough said. This is my tutorial. Um, my review. My review is I love all the products except for the shampoo. The shampoo made my hair feel matted. I didn't like the way my hair felt with it. I didn't like the shampoo at all. No way. I didn't like the shampoo. All the other, the curl defining, the deep conditioner, the leave-in conditioner, the gel, I love Aunt Jackie's products. My hair lasts a long time. As you can see, the, again, this is two weeks. Um, the curls are perfectly defined. I love it. it my hair is soft. Um, I just love the way this product works on my hair. I really, really, really do. So that's my review. I love this product. I do. I will continue to use the products. I love everything about them. Uh, Jackie, if you're watching this video, send me some products because I love your stuff. I do. Okay, enough said. Let's just get to work. Uh, when you see me again, I will not have my work clothes on. I will have my regular chill clothes on so I, I'm telling you that because I want you to know that it's the same day just a different I'm changing my clothes it's a different outfit so yeah so when you see me again my hair will be shampooed and I will put all the products and all that stuff in y'all have a great evening I will see you later bye <laughs> okay I just finished shampooing my hair with the Shea Moisture Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser and this is what my hair looks like. It's very soft and manageable. And now I'm getting ready to put in the deep conditioner by uh, Miss Jack, Aunt Jackie's In Control Moisturizing and Softening Conditioner. And basically what I do is I just part my hair in two sections and I just do each side. And um, I um, place this in my hair. Um, get it all in there really good kind of finger comb it um, detangle finger detangle and then I get the comb out and comb my hair as well um, a lot of people don't use the comb but I've used the comb all my life a comb and a brush and I'm gonna continue to use the comb um, yeah I just uh, I just don't feel my hair would be completely detangled if I didn't so I do use the comb I do both my fingers and the comb to detangle I also put that on my edges and I also get in the center of my head, the mole of my head because my hair texture is a lot more coarse in the mole of my head so I always try to put extra uh, deep conditioner there. So now I'm just heading over to the other side and doing the same steps just make sure I get it all in. Um, I focus on my ends also and again I detangle with my fingers just kind of comb through with my fingers and then um, I get that comb out and just comb through and make sure every strand of hair has deep conditioner on there. So that's what we're doing. Y'all this is my first voiceover so y'all bear with me. <laughs> so I'm just kind of massaging my scalp and everything and also I'm getting the back make sure I get that back my kitchen and all that back there. <laughs> that's what the old school say kitchen. Okay, this is a cap, a platinum deconditioning cap that I got from uh, Sally's. And I'm just going to place this on my hair for about two hours and let that deep conditioner uh, get in there and do what it, let it do what it do. So, I will be back to show you what it looks like after I wash the deep conditioner out. 
Okay, now I have washed out the deep conditioner and basically this is what my hair looks like after the deep conditioner. It feels really good, soft, it looks really good. Those curls are coming along y'all, look at those curls. So now I'm getting ready to put in the product, starting off with the leave-in conditioner and that is Quench, Moisture Intense Leave-In Conditioner. This makes my hair feels, feel really, feel really, really nice. And I just get that all over, again focusing on my ends. And um, I don't use the comb here, I basically use my fingers to kind of finger comb through um, because I don't want to mess with my curls anymore. So everything I'm just going to be doing with my fingers. So we're going to go over to the other side. And y'all, that's not a bald spot. That's just a thinning spot. I've had that all my life. So, no, I'm not losing my hair. <laughs> so, I'm working that, that leave-in conditioner in. I'm going to get my back now. Y'all have to excuse me. That's just how I do it. <laughs> get my big old head down there so I can get that, that uh, leave-in conditioner in. So look at those curls y'all, they coming along. So now I'm going to be using the Ooh La La Defining Curl Custard. And I love the way this stuff smells, it smells really good. Look at the consistency of it. It's not too, it's thick but it's not too thick. So basically I just again put on each section of my hair. And I kind of just smooth, smooth it. With uh, smooth it in there really really well I love this stuff it really makes my hair um, smell good and um, it really starts to work on those curls get those curls defined and I focus on my ends and then of course again I will be getting the back of my hair and um, the edges and everything there I go again trying to get the back of my hair <laughs> okay so now we're going to start off with uh finish up finish finish up with the gel y'all excuse me with the uh let's see don't shrink elongating flaxseed elongating curling gel love this stuff look at those curls it's coming along every step i think defines the curls more so the gel to me um, really set my curls. Um, it gives my hair some shine, and um, the gel does not. Um, it's not hard on my hair once my hair dries. My hair is just as soft as cotton, and so I love that about the gel. And again, it gives my hair a lot of shine and everything. Okay, so. I am finishing up and look at those curls y'all look at those curls so now what I'm gonna do is put my hair up and um, we're gonna go on and finish up on the next day okay this is the next day my hair is still damp um, it didn't dry all the way through so what I'm gonna do now is diffuse on medium heat and uh, try to finish off um, drying my hair um, I love this diffuser um, my daughter she used she uses it all the time and so I use it when I have to and today I have to so yeah I just have it on medium heat I don't have it on high I don't want a lot of heat in my hair my hair is still soft uh, even with the gel it's very soft um, I just love the way my hair feels and y'all look at those curls look at those curls so we're getting that getting it dry it's still a, a little damp I didn't finish actually what I did was I just finished did enough to where you could see what the curls look like and then I went through, went back after the video and finished it. So now I am uh, styling my hair and I'm just pulling the curls to make my hair bigger. And look at those curls. 
I am so very well pleased with this product. I really love the way it makes my hair look and the way it makes my hair feel. The curls last for a good week and a half, two weeks. Uh, at the beginning of the video, you saw what my hair looked like in two weeks and I still had a lot of curl. Um, but my hair did need to be done. <laughs> but um you still can see a lot of the curls look at the look at those curls i really do love this product so i just want to say thank you all so much for joining me i hope you like this video and thumbs up this video if you want to see more talk through videos from me and more hair videos from me thank you so much